Blessings and peace this Advent. We continue this week talking about enemies, or for me, as I've been looking at it today, uh, enmity. So enmity would be uh, that, that thing, the uh, adversarial components. And as I've been looking at scripture, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, and then also in Romans, um, we're called to uh, hate that which is evil. So um, it's not a person that would be our enemy or our adversary. Um, it's not an individual with whom we have necessarily an adversarial relationship but if there is something that would be evil and evil for me i would further want to explain that or name that as that which is in direct opposition to god god being the one who is righteous and holy the one who gives light and love and leads us on the path of that way which is filled with the love and the life that is for us a fulfillment and the other path that we would choose would be one that would be a path of darkness and uh, death. Now, not necessarily talking a, a literal death here, but a, a spiritual death, a, a darkness, a sin, that being evil. So whatever it is that would be filled with darkness, whatever it is that would lead us in ways that would be opposite to those life-affirming, life-giving, love-filling choices that would be of God, were to hate that. That is the enemy, the foe. So not an individual, but the things that draw us away from God and life and love. So we are to seek that which is of God, that which will give love and life to us and move away from the other. So as I am thinking of what is enemy and then how to be in peaceful relationship with that, that's how I'm beginning to process and work. And I hope as I am working through this, as you begin to think and pray, we think not so much as the enemy is the other, but the enemy is someone or something that maybe is a darkness, a hurt, a wound, someone, something that has been drawn away from light and love. That usually means there's a woundedness there. And the goal is to find peace by drawing closer to God, closer to love, closer to light. And may we all seek to do that. That is my prayer. That is my hope in this week in Advent. Amen. <laughs>